What's good, Tarot Tribe? It's The Priest, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. And in this reading, I'm going to be looking at if you have magical abilities, which are aka psychic abilities, and how to activate these psychic abilities. So I'm going to be pulling a specific card to see how you can activate these abilities that you do have. If you guys are interested in learning more about activating your psychic ability or understanding it, you can find a link to a webinar down below in the description to activate your power or activate your psychic abilities. But in this reading, I am going to give you guys some clues as to how you can activate them. So if you guys feel like you're a part of the soul tribe, I also have a newsletter down below so you guys can become a part of a community that is also embracing their psychic abilities and learning the truth of what we are so obviously we are the enlightened ones and yeah there's a lot to learn about who we are and the power that we do have so i'm excited to get into this reading all right jumping into the four decks we have four different decks that you guys can choose from we have deck number one deck number two deck number three and deck number four all right let's see what psychic abilities and magical powers you guys possess if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading. And if you have psychic abilities and which ones you do possess. All right, let's see what the overall theme is. Adaptability. So deck number one, you have the ability to adapt. So that's like a chameleon. Anywhere you go, you can adapt to the environment. You can go anywhere. You can explore anywhere. So this is definitely an ability that you do have. We have adjustment looking back moving forward so i definitely feel like with the owl here you do have some type of insight when it comes to a connection with the future and also the connection with the past okay we have hidden knowledge acoustic records silent understanding so yeah you definitely do have a gift if you're here so this is pretty clear here one of the gifts that i talk a lot about is the claircognizant and this is just the ability to know. So you may find yourself in a lot of conclusions where solutions are just given. You don't know where they come from or where they came from, but you do have this insight and this gift of knowing that. So I am seeing that you have a silent understanding. You might be an observer, but I am seeing that you do even have the ability to access Akashic records, which just allows you to go into the past of things to kind of bring together what's happening now. So I definitely think that there's a connection between the like how your gift is centered so you you have the ability to take what you've learned in the past in certain keys and then plug them in and yeah it's just kind of like the puzzle becomes very clear for you so i'm seeing that you do have this ability to do that all right let's see what would be an instance that you would know that you have this ability i asked your your higher self and we have the moon so some of you may have not yet discovered this entirely or activated this entirely so it could just still be kind of subconscious to you or also just subliminal but the moon comes out when you do have psychic ability so i definitely want to say yes if you are here and you chose this deck you do have psychic abilities now this is more so of just trusting in these abilities we have the emperor here this is aries energy so this is trusting in this ability and understanding that understanding who you are where this ability comes from and why you do have this ability so there's more for you to learn from what i'm hearing your higher self is explaining more to learn about these gifts it's like having a sword but not knowing how to use it so i definitely feel like you're learning how to sharpen your sword you're learning how to sharpen when i say your sword for some reason they're showing me your spiritual eye your ability to see Ooh, got a curl your ability to see okay deck number one all right, Eight of Swords. Yeah, that's crazy because on this card, she's missing an eye, okay? And it's like, even with one eye, you have the ability to see. And another thing I'm getting um, that Spirit is saying is that you could actually see more. We could actually see more if we were blind. And that's because all of our other senses become heightened and we, be, we remain focused in that moment. So what I'm sensing is that there may be some gifts that you're blind to that you do have, but you do have an ability to see through traps, getting your way out of certain situations because the Eight of Swords is mental enslavement here. So I'm seeing that you're learning more about these abilities, but also something about seeing, okay? So you could be a clairvoyant as well that you're kind of unlocking here because we do still have the Eight of Swords. So you could be unlocking um, the ability to see this is in dreams, imagination, um, just kind of seeing things, maybe having glimpses of things. Okay, the sun card is here. We have the happiness card. So this is actually, yes, I want to say that you do heavily have this. 
gift. Let's see more about these psychic abilities. So the, the magical unicorn that you guys got was the oneness in the soul healing. Okay. So you have an ability to connect people. I'm sensing. Okay. You do have the ability to connect with people. And then I also feel like there is more of people like you that you're getting ready to attract. Cause we do have the oneness here. Humanity is very big. The light is very big. And then also aligning with your essence and seeing your true colors. This is embracing the gift that you do have. You have an ability to heal. What gift of manifestation does deck one have? Feeling good will bring me far more than whatever I thought I needed. And the universe has big plans for me and it's time to claim them. Okay. So I definitely sense that whatever this gift is, again, we see that you have the ability to know things, the ability to have access to knowledge that maybe someone has not given you. Maybe it's a lucky guess. You think it was a lucky guess, but I'm sensing that there is maybe even have found yourself departing away from people now when i say you have the ability to connect i definitely feel like maybe you haven't felt that way but i'm sensing that you have been on a solo journey okay so i do sense like i i have your father's energy here let's see why this is here because this is emperor too and for some reason they're bringing me to for some of you guys this may be relevant okay like there's some type of like you leaving where you were raised to find your true self and to embrace this version of yourself. This is very important to your journey, I'm sensing. Why is the emperor here? Okay, the knight of wands. Okay. So I feel like the father card is here. I feel like the father card is here because you also have the ability to be very driven towards your desires. So I definitely see that you have a lot of, you could have a lot of masculine energy. This is independence. This is confidence. This is um, also just being assertive, being initiative. Um, some of you can even be the older sibling. Um, there's many different things here that I'm seeing with plays on family, but I'm sensing that there is some type of soul tribe that's going to embrace these gifts that you do have. And I also feel like you have an ability to heal the soul. And that usually is through love. Okay. So we do have the chariot here. You could be a cancer. You don't have to be. I also have Leo and Aries energy on the board. I also have Pisces on the board. Five of Pentacles. This is also ability that you have to know and have the knowledge and the solutions for your financial situations. So you do have a gift to um, attract finances in your life as well. Now let's see how you can activate these gifts. How can deck one? Whoa, how did these cards get in here? Seek your answers within. So spirit wants you to go within to seek a lot more of this gift that you do have. So seek where it comes from. Get, start getting excited about these gifts, wanting to know more information about it. This is all a part of activating it, learning and knowing thyself and all of the answers that you need are within. So you do have a gift of wisdom. So to know, you have a psychic ability to know. You don't know how you know, but you just know this is not the place where we need to be. Like you just have that, you have that knowing. So how can you activate this gift even more? Deck one, how can they activate this gift? Thank you. Okay, we have nature's healing power. Okay, so nature is not only something we see within our eyes, but also something we feel and experience in our body, mind, and soul. Now is the time to let your body observe the healing power that nature has to offer. Some of you could definitely be holistic healers are here to find the answers and the secrets of healing through nature lots of healing energy okay feeling good um and having the knowledge of doing this and this comes from the gift that you have linking with spirit so i definitely do feel like you can connect more with spirit in a relationship manner the first and most important step when you're connecting and communicating with spirit is to create a solid and clear link only when you link with spirit can you establish Okay, to practice this, it's important to first become aware of how you sense spirit okay, through vibration and how you feel it. So right now, this is all about linking and connecting with source. You want to know more? Connect with source. Masters of mediumship. 
many pioneer scholars and tutors in the field of psychic sciences have paved the way for aspiring mediums. Much can learn from mediums. You can gain many insights from the invaluable wisdom and knowledge of those mediums. You can learn different styles of mediumship. Okay. Researching some of these will help you study more about your gift. So spirit wants you to look and get more excited into these gifts that you could have and have. Okay. So that's really, really good. And let's see what your overall is. You have the future. Yes. The future and flow. So the present moment in the future, you're going to have so much insight about the future that you will be challenged to live in the, the present and to go with the flow. And I also see shining through. It's just who you are. So the sun is here and I definitely feel like your fulfillment is going to come from also just being your true version of yourself and embracing all of what you have. So the future is what I see that you have insight of certain things that are happening or may have happened. And then also the flow of things and how to activate this more again would simply be to connect more with spirit so that you can under have an understanding of this. So if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading. And if you have psychic abilities, the answer is yes. And a few ways that you can start activating them and, and looking into some of these things. So can't wait to see what you guys have to say down below. If you guys are looking for a secret pick of cards, you can find them at thetarotchest.com for more insight and secret messages from your higher self. All right, I'm moving on to deck number two. If you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading. And if you have psychic abilities and how to begin to activate them. All right telepathy so you definitely do have a gift to communicate with your higher self with your guides i'm definitely seeing that healing the heart power of self-love you also have a gift of healing and courage strength family fierceness you also have a gift of courage Okay, so this courage is coming from your higher self. So you have been communicating already, I'm seeing with your higher self. So even if you don't know that or are not aware of that, your higher self is mostly communicated for you when you're being brave. And you may have felt like a lot of the energy at the moment you are being brave. And I also see that you have a gift to see from a higher perspective, which is a gift also because you have the ability to see through the eyes of higher self, not being so much in the mix of it, but taking a step back and being able to see the higher picture of that. Let's see what some events in your life that could have transpired that would remind you. We do have the mother card here, so it could definitely be um, generational. Maybe someone else in your family had a gift. Okay, and we also have the page of swords here. Um, in the Knight of Cups. So we have a whole family here. We have a mom, we have a sister and another sister. This could be for very few of you. We're going to get some more information on this, but definitely some of you may have experienced it in your family. Okay. Let's see why the Empress is here for their psychic ability. So you do have the ability to heal. So you might if you find yourself with or around discord and family or other, you know, people come to you for advice for their discord, it's because you have this gift of healing, bringing, bringing people together through love. And I also see that people see that you're very strong. All of this is coming from your higher, your higher self. Okay. We also have the two of wands. Let's see what's going on with, with this five of wands. So yeah, the biggest thing I'm seeing is just embracing these psychic abilities not running from them, not fleeing from them, not running or going away from them. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Just kind of embracing that this is who you are. The more you accept yourself, deck number two, the more that these gifts are going to be prevalent in your life and, or you're going to see the evidence of the gift. So if you've been waiting to kind of see that, I am sensing that you do have a gift of, of communicating with your higher self. Okay. I am presence. Expand your gateway. I am that I am. So as you're learning more to embrace your psychic abilities, because I'm seeing that, yes, you do have them. You are, I don't know exactly if you're just aware of them quite yet, because the only sense I'm seeing right now, we're going to clarify. Okay, we have 44. That could be important to you. Let's see. Thank you. Nine of Swords. 
So your higher self and the gifts that you activate, you, you tend to activate them when you're going through a lot in your life. You tend to activate your gifts the most when you have to be strong. Okay, strong for others, strong for yourself. Um, again, this is this is something that you're encompassing from source is the strength that you that you have. All right, creative solutions, thinking outside the box. So you exactly you have, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So deck two, you have the ability to see from a higher perspective, and that is usually considered a psychic ability. Okay, so this is you having creative solutions. Anytime you are being creative, you're coming from your soul. So you have the ability to think outside the box and be creative. And this creative ability that you do have comes from just seeing it and then maybe envisioning it and how it can happen and then bringing it to life. So you have that gift of clairvoyance of being able to see that, come up with solutions, be creative, be different. And this is all expressed through like this wild energy of your soul. When your soul is able to be wild and free and expressive, I'm seeing that you're able to tap into this source of information of just creative thinking, thinking from a higher perspective, okay? Other gifts that you do have, is assurance yeah so you definitely are connected um to higher self and fortune yeah so you can see how i do think that you're manifesting a lot for yourself that maybe you don't even know that you're manifesting because of the abilities that you have okay let's get the fortune see what the fortune is here for fortune psychic ability for deck two Six of Cups, I, I feel like some of you may have known this since you were a child, okay? We do have the moon here. I do feel like some of you could have ex felt this when you were a child. Some of you could have siblings also that resonate with spirituality or just feeling like there's something more, okay? Feeling like there's something more. And then we have truth, yeah. So I feel like you have a connection to source. And this connection that you have is through truth. It is what it is. The more that you seek the truth, I say this a lot, is that the closest voice that we have of God is the truth. And the more that you follow it, the more that your gifts are unraveled, the more that you activate your power. And the truth is that you do have this ability. I do feel like something may have happened um, t when you were a child, when it comes to these gifts or spirit or certain things, when it comes to embracing it, that I think that your spirit is bringing you back to remembering that you did have something significant remind you that you could have an ability that, that you may be overlooked. Okay. So let's see what this is about for deck two. Okay. We have five of swords. Yeah. I think that this is something that maybe you just keep going, maybe you go back and forth on this, but the truth of the matter is, is that you really do have a gift and you are psychic and you do have this ability to see from a higher perspective and that can only happen through the communication of your future self, your higher self, to know what happens before it happens or to have insight on that happening before it happens is all a part of um, your higher communication. That's why you're able to see it from a higher perspective because you have somehow had insight or communication to know that there's more to this story or mm, I don't quite feel that that this is the case. Those feelings of instincts are proof and evidence that you do have psychic ability. So again, I feel like this is about embracing the gifts and and not running from them or you know if you're a skeptic it's okay to be a healthy skeptic when it comes to your psychic abilities but also be open to them be open to it actually happening because it will you'll get the signs that you need the numbers will line up the messages will line up, line up and nothing is a coincidence it's all synchronicity nothing is random so i do feel like you do have a gift of of having these creative solutions and communication and that is become it's coming from your higher self Okay. So whenever you feel like you're in the zone, that's also another indicator that you are highly connected with source and things are just flowing naturally. Okay. Like you have really good luck. And obviously if you have good luck, where do you take that? You take that to places and, and you use it as an advantage. Cause I do see that you are at an advantage with this gift. All right. How do you activate this gift? How does deck two activate this gift? How can they begin to activate this gift even more? Mind focus, okay? Mind focus. Concentration and focus of the mind are keys to sustaining the strong connection 
with the spirit world. Cre to create this, it's important to build your psychic connection so communication can move freely back and forth between the spiritual world. So you might have a situation where it's a perfect opportunity to trust your instincts just to see where it will get you. As you start to trust your instincts more, you start to develop this connection and you will no longer have to trust them. You will just flow and go with them. And that's what I'm hearing that spirit is saying is strengthening your intuitive walk strengthening that connection so that you can use this gift okay last but not least it says possessing the power of mind focused concentration will make you a better vessel for the spiritual world and those who seek out your help so i do see that you will or service people with this gift eventually and it's crazy because one of the first readings i've ever had like way before i was into tarot because again it's only been two years she's like yeah i see that you might get into tarot and you might start reading for others and i was like no way. I don't even own a tarot deck, let alone this is my first reading. I've never, and here I am. So it's just like, you never know where this is going to take you. So I definitely see that spirit is going to prove you wrong about the abilities that you're questioning, doubting, or feel like you don't have. Okay. Let's see what your message of attracting this power and activating this power is. How can they do it practically? How can they activate this? Believing in spiritual guidance, believing, okay? You have the power to believe. And yeah, again, I did the activate your power. If you guys were not able to catch it, the, the live webinar, you can stream that down below. The whole entire thing with exercises about tapping into your psychic abilities, all the questions you're asking about this. And again, it's believing in this psychic ability that you do have. The belief is where the power is at, okay? So taking back your power by believing in, and listen, even if you don't entirely, just take a peek, okay? So this guidance is gonna give you certainty and the freedom to keep dreaming, even when you can't yet see the result. So just because you can't see magic doesn't mean it doesn't exist or it's not working. So yeah, I definitely feel like this is, there, there's something that may have happened when you were younger that you experienced around this ability. Okay, for some of you, you maybe overlooked it, but it's coming back around and I feel like it's being activated even now. So let's see what that last message is. Thank you. Okay, what is going on here? Four of Wands. So yeah, unity, harmony. Harmony with this version of yourself is going to help you activate it and believe in it more. So I hope I was able to give you clarity, but yes, you absolutely do have this communication. And I do see that as you follow the truth, you will be even more sure and certainty is the best form of confidence. And when you're confident and you know who you are, everything just kind of happens from there. The, the exact reality of who you truly are is what you're gonna manifest and it's gonna be your dreams because your dreams matches the frequency of your full potential. There's just so much, but yes. If you guys are looking for that link, you can find that down below. I hope I was able to inspire you guys, bring some encouragement and, and also bring some understanding of these gifts. So. If this is you, don't forget to hashtag down below so you can get some words of feedback from others and some questions and answers from others. I'm gonna move on now to deck number three. If you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading to see if you have psychic abilities and how to activate them. Okay, let's see. Enlightenment, yes you do. Deck number three. Enlightenment, look from the higher perspective and the highest perspective and see the divine in everyone. So I definitely feel like you probably have already activated your penile gland or your third eye. I definitely feel like you are probably part of my soul tribe. Um, this definitely resonates with me as well. So I'm saying, seeing that you are one of the enlightened few. Again, it's not by coincidence. I am also seeing that you have an ability to gather blessings you also have the ability to have a harvest. I see a community as well with 44 here. I see people will support your visions. I see that you have the ability to also see things from sources point of view. And that usually is a psychic ability. So from the crown chakra to the third eye chakra, um, I, I feel like with enlightenment, it's like right in between it. And that is just when you're so open to source that you're able to become enlightened and now therefore you walk with the same knowledge that source has very very powerful so you guys could be into tarot could be into reiki could be a light worker could be wanting to be a service of others and even if you don't know what to label yourself you could find yourself just often serving others so you do have a, uh, the ability to bring people together through blessings summoning power 
instinct, intellect, and control. You definitely are very powerful. Look at all the fours we have here, okay? So the three often represents, I like to see the third dimension, but with the four, it's like another dimension, the fourth dimension, and that is embracing another sense. You know, in the 3D here, we have taste, touch, see, hear, smell. Those are the five senses. Well, your senses is instinct and intuition, right? You can feel it. It's like your spidey senses. This is a gift. This is a gift of enlightenment. And so you have this ability to see truth, maybe when you don't even know that you do. And yeah, it's an ability that I've learned along my journey as well that I've had. So definitely, if you guys are interested in learning more about that, the link to the Activate Your Power is down below. Mahatma energy, build your light body, accelerate your ascension. So usually when you get this card, this is all about connecting with the higher source. And I like to see it as like a clear channel to just source, which is so powerful. I think people kind of overlook it. You have this ability to connect and get answers and get guidance. Okay. And you have the ability to ask questions and receive, whether it's knowledge, uh, whether it's financial abundance. I'm seeing that you have the intellect to do that. It's just calling in this power. Okay. Now I do feel like there's a little bit of knowledge here that maybe you do have this, but I'm sensing that there's an even bigger scale of realization of how much power you actually do have access to that you've yet to activate. Now, something in your life that could have occurred that would give you a reason to believe that you have this ability is when you find yourself in dark places or you find yourself alone, you always figure it out. Okay. How do you always figure it out? You always have this higher perspective. You always know how to get out. You always know how to guide yourself in the hermit. This is Virgo energy. This is usually coming out when you had to be the light of your own tunnel. Okay. Whereas many people look for the light, you had to be your own light. You had to kind of reach in to that energy and find it for yourself. And that is a gift, okay? That is a gift that you have. We also have Sagittarius energy, temperance. So you definitely are beautifully connected to the divine in a very beautiful spiritual way. Not very many people find themselves enlightened. And this is like the highest degree of spirituality is where you're just so open and aware that you are enlightened and can only see the light, okay? The light is good, love, truth, freedom, justice. That's all of the light. Ace of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like many people are going to want to give to you because of the gift that you have. They're going to want to pour into you, be open to receiving, whether that's abundance, whether that's, uh, I want to say opportunities. Many, I do see people will be in support of you using your gifts in exchange for financial, uh, for financial profit. Okay. They're going to want to give to you. This isn't going to be something that you have to ask. People will see your ability and they will want to invest in it. Great big love. Okay. That's good. And generosity. Yeah. People want to give to you because of your kind heart. And as long as your heart, deck three, as long as your heart remains pure, you do not need to be afraid of this power that you have. Again, we talked about that in that webinar. That's why I keep referencing the link down below. This, you are going to be so abundant, Deck 3. Uh, it's because of your heart. It's because of the generosity that you have. You have such a big love. And this love that you have is what's going to make your power light. So you don't have to worry about anything going wrong or being afraid of this power or any of that, or will people support? I'm definitely sensing that your heart is what keeps your power pure is the way that I'm hearing it. Your heart keeps your power pure. Rebirth. So many of you may have experienced a rebirth of you seeing your psychic ability. Sometimes we go through many rebirths and that's just the death of who we think we are. At first I thought I was a basketball player. You know, I was gonna go pro, I had scholarships and I had all of these things lined up for me. And then I got into a car accident, my entire life changed. And it's like, ah, I had this plan for 18 years and now I'm in college, what the hell? And I went through that rebirth to let go of these identities that I really thought were me and then embracing obviously who I am now, which is kind of what I'm seeing is happening for you as you're going through this rebirth. And you're also starting to see that some of these gifts are prevalent and that there's more for you. There's more for you and more power than you, than you think you have. 
compassion. I love it. So yeah, you're just someone who definitely is going to be giving back, giving back in wisdom, just blessings, blessings, blessings. Like that's all I see for you. Blessings, blessings, blessings. This journey that you've been on, it's all worth it. Like if everything that you've learned, the highest perspective, all of the keys that you've gotten, it's just beautiful. Cause I see now that you're going to be sharing that with others. Okay. This is very clear message here for deck three. Anything else on, on, uh, yeah. Whenever you're in silence and solitude, silence and solitude is when spirit's going to speak to you the most. You know, when spirit is speaking to you because it's the truth and you can feel it, it resonates. Okay. Cause I'm hearing some of you may be working on activating that gift. Clear audience, the ability to hear. Okay. Let's get more information on this. The world. Yeah. I love it. White Newman. It's huge to get this at the bottom of the deck as well. This is just a calling in your life. I feel like with the world card, everything that you desire, you're here to have. Um, you have that ability to manifest that for yourself. Now, how do you activate more and sharpen? How do they sharpen these gifts? Thank you. Animal kingdom. Okay. And the visible shield. So the animal king animals are going to help you by drawing companions and love to you. So animals are just like us, that they're a soul that temporarily inhabits a body. As a medium, you have the ability to sense, feel, and even hear these creatures that have passed on. So some of you do have the ability to hear. Um, I'm definitely seeing you can connect with animals. Animals can be very um, important to you, but you're actually adding knowledge to your unlimited psychic database. So I'm hearing that you guys are just adding more knowledge. You will learn many things, which is why even traveling and exploration is going to be important to you because the more you see, the more you learn, the more that you know. The invisible shield, have you ever experienced feeling the presence of a loved one who has passed or had a thought of them suddenly come to your mind, even though you're in the spiritual realm, the, their body still has an aura, which is very loving. But I do see that you have that gift. So every living thing that has an aura, so something I'm hearing as well, is that if you've lost someone or if you've ever went through losing someone very significant to you, this was also an activating factor because how else will you learn you can communicate with people who are no longer here other than them not no longer being here this was part of the plan is what i'm hearing for those of you i know i experienced that myself um right after my grandma passed i started to do this discovery of trying to figure out who i was and so this expanded my consciousness even more it says you can ex learn to expand your aura for the matters of and it says, even through the experience of richness of music or the outdoors will heighten your experience with nature. So you have a connection to spirit's aura is what I'm sensing. Let's get one more card. How else can they activate this gift that they have, deck three? divine nudges whoa synchronicities are so-called coincidences but they are clear signs that spirit is knocking at your door these blessings and signs of grace are not just coincidences but are evidence that spirit is connected to you so i do have a post on my my instagram that says what evidence of magic do you need other than synchronicities like it literally just lines up with exactly what you need every time so it says spirits working through synchronicity and can manifest in some unique ways some people refer this to the divine nudges example could be hearing the same phrase from a song a number and it's repeated when you're developing your psychic abilities you know how you need to develop and evolve and will continue to steer you in the right direction in moving forward. The more you begin to notice these nudges, the easier it is for you to communicate with your spiritual guidance, which I definitely agree with. So paying attention to what's, what is you think is a coincidence that is actually more meaning behind it. Don't get crazy with it because I know some people who definitely get crazy with it, but just allow it to happen. You know, you don't force magic. It just happens. All right, how can they attract this in their life? What message do you want them to know? 
The universe is always conspiring to support me and guide me compassionately towards the highest good. This seems to be a very, very important message. You are not doing this alone. It's the power of source within you that's giving you life, that is activating you to be able to have that same power that source has to create the world and so much more is living within you. It's just beautiful, okay? So each time I choose to tune to spirit and the guidance of the highest truth, it will show up for me, okay? So the truth will show up, spirit will... When I'm in the state of appreciation, I'm in vibration of alignment with my true love nature, okay? So when you're in a state of appreciation and you're in a state of feeling good, you're also in a state of connecting with God, which is why, again, I talk a lot about this now, is feeling good is literally feeling God. It's very beautiful, guys. Like, the, it's just literally the revelations are there. You just got to be open to receiving them because they're, they're definitely there. My ability to receive, there you have it, there you have it. See, can't make this up. My ability to receive is measured by how much I practice good feeling thoughts. Because when you feel good, you feel God. Literally, it's God is good. So yeah. All right, guys, without getting too preachy and without getting too much into it, yes, you do have a psychic ability. And I do feel like you might be aware of this a little bit more than the other deck. So if you are here, it's just a confirmation on how to activate that and connect. Again, if you guys are looking for more guidance, you can find that link to activate your psychic abilities down below. And yeah, stream that if you guys are looking for more information on activating some of these things. All right, I'm gonna be moving on to deck four. Don't forget to comment down below so we can get some words of feedback to you guys and you can connect with your soul tribe. I am moving on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and if you have magical psychic abilities and how to activate them. So let's see what abilities you do have. Enter the magic, okay? So deck four, it looks like there's gonna be more of a revelation of what magic is in general. So this might be the spark to opening up magic for you. So this reading that you're listening to right now actually is opening the door to more magic in your life. I see that you're gonna start to see a lot more, be a lot more aware. Your heightened senses will be above more than you've experienced probably in some time. So definitely we'll have some heightened sense, senses. So live in the now, seize the moment, create your vision. Do what makes your heart sing. You are being nudged forward. So you have the ability to create your own vision. Okay. And you also have a sacred purpose here, internal flame, ancestry, legacy. So you could be connected to someone who had psychic abilities in your family. Maybe you've met them, maybe you haven't, but I'm definitely seeing that someone in your family, ancestral, could have passed it down. We have past life influences. So in your past life, you could have experienced psychic abilities. Um, and in this life, it's almost like you're learning to see that the magic is real. So if you guys chose this deck, I definitely feel like this is going to intrigue and open up a new door for you, if anything. Now, some of the things that you may have experienced in your life that could have proven that you have these psychic abilities is if you grew up in a religious household or around religion, doesn't matter if you connected or not, or maybe were brought up around that. For a few of you, the higher font is here. This would have been the very beginning of your journey into spirituality. I know I started uh, by becoming a youth pastor, in fact, of Christianity. Yeah, many people don't know that. And then I started to kind of see the truth because, you know, couldn't really find much there that I was looking for. And I knew that there was more. So I started to search for enlightenment in spirituality. And so I feel like that was the beginning of kind of seeing that you are connected to the spiritual world, okay? That there is spirituality. You could be a Taurus, you don't have to be, but you could definitely be practical, more practical than usual when it comes to magic. And so was I, I'm a Capricorn. So it took me a lot to kind of see that we also have strength. So everything that you've been through, you haven't actually been protecting yourself. Um, the universe has been there protecting you. So just the fact of you being here is pure magic. Um, the fact that you have breath is pure magic because it's keeping you alive. So there's so many things that spirit is saying you might be overlooking to seeing how magical it really is and, and how connected you really are. So Ace of Swords. So there is going to be a new perspective that's coming to you that I see that's going to open the door for spirituality. And again, I think it's this. Yeah, Ten of Cups. So I do feel like there's going to be a sign. Let's see. Let's have fun with this spirit. What could they see that's going to confirm that they have the psychic ability? What is something they might see soon? 
Deck four, thank you. Knight of Pentacles, something happening in positive in your finances. Let's see, why is the Knight of Pentacles here for deck four? What might they see soon? Okay, death. So some of you can definitely be, have been ignited, could have been going back and forth with three and four this deck. If you were attracted to deck three, this would tell me that you are evolving immensely. And that would be like the next kind of frequency that you're getting ready to go on. But if you chose this as like step three before the next step is what I'm getting. You could be a Scorpio. You don't have to be, but I see that death or something ending um, or something that's all of a sudden that's happening. I do see is going to prove to you that you do have psychic ability. Something that you're predicting or assuming is actually going to happen. And that's what's going to show you that this is actually real. Um, I'm definitely seeing that there is some type of connection here that you have with an older mentor. Could be someone who's going to be teaching you enlightenment spirituality um, that I'm getting. We also have Scorpio energy again, twice here, and then the Seven of Cups. So right now, the biggest thing for you is to be open to spirituality, be open to the spiritual world, okay? And, and go beyond what beliefs maybe have been set in place, go beyond the logic of things and try to focus more on what you feel, okay? So more proof and evidence is coming your way, earth magic, yeah. So you're at the very brink of kind of discovering that this magic is true and does exist. You are also connected in some way to a nurturer. You could be a parent, you don't have to be. I also see that you can be very ambitious, and that freedom is very important, okay, to your spirit and soul. So whatever this is, I'm seeing that you're highly connected or want to, there might be an urge or curiosity for some of these psychic abilities. And I'm looking for many of the major arcanas just to see kind of where you are in your spiritual journey. And I'm seeing that much more is gonna be revealed, yeah. Much more is gonna be revealed about your psychic abilities, yeah being more open to them um, because they are there, but they're dormant, which means they're, they haven't really been awakened. They're kind of just there. And I'm seeing that not to kind of force this to happen, but to be aware of the magic around you. I'm definitely seeing that something is going to change suddenly. And it's something that you were assuming that's going to happen. It's going to prove to you again, that you do have this ability, whatever that may be. And then I also see the page of wands, your curiosity to know more is also what is opening up this doorway. Again, this door has been closed, the door to learning more about spirituality or psychic abilities, magical abilities, and believing them and actually using them. Like it's a real thing here, but I'm sensing that just taking a look at the simplicity of magic in the in nature, in the world, and, and not overseeing it. Because sometimes we see movies and we think superpowers look like certain superpowers like oh you know the this person is running through a wall or they have the strength to do certain things but the strength to manifest your own reality to manifest your own life is just something that is indescribable it's a power that's indescribable okay we have the devil card here so we have capricorn energy that's just like myself who was very practical about this so i see that you're going to be moving towards spirituality more and your psychic abilities because they are dormant okay they are dormant let's see how they can activate this when i connect to the spiritual rim i open the door that's crazy see what just happened okay we could say it's we could say that it's a coincidence but when i oh, oh my goodness when i connect to the spiritual rim i open the door I open the door. So this for you, if you're here, you are opening the door to psychic abilities. So before they were dormant, but now they're going to start activating. Your senses are going to heighten. You may see signs and numbers. You may, it's not a coincidence. Okay. So I'm definitely seeing that your ambition to want to know more has brought you here and your, your desire to want to embrace your full self, which is salvation to fully be free is here. So this is opening the door. Okay. You've just opened the door to psychic abilities. Okay, now how do you activate these and exercise them? Deck four. Enter the magic. Enter the magic. Oh, I can't. I can't. Deck four, why are you making me? Oh man, why are you, why are you making me? You got this card here, you were born to create. I like to say energy is what we are. Energy, our inner God. This card says evidence of spirit. 
Okay. That's what I just said. This is going to happen. This is real. And so again, there's nothing to be afraid of. You know, you're activating your power. You're activating your psychic ability. My heart is racing. That's crazy. Okay. If you guys are looking for more information on how to activate the meditation, I'm doing meditations and exercises to calm, to embrace this power, not to fear this power. You can find that down below in the link of the activating your psychic abilities or activate your power. Okay. If you need that. Now, jumping back into this reading, I literally just said, okay, literally just said this, that you are going to receive evidence because some of you, and it's okay to be skeptical. We should question things, but it's hard. It's really, really hard when the, the signs are just there. Okay. And I say, it and it comes out, it's really hard to deny that this magic is real. Okay. Just cause we can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist evidence of spirit the process of validation is essential to authenticating the identity of spirit when creating that relationship helping to confirm the continuity of life unless a medium can validate the connection with evidence and it's unlikely to consider authentic mediumship okay so this is not to pretend this is i really want you to feel that power okay so i'm just throwing it to you when a spirit provides evidence that's totally supported by true life facts, the healing connection with the loved one, one that is most powerful occurrences to witness, evidence is received through spiritual senses, a spirit will create a connection to support the relationship of the receiver, which is you in this case, and offer you evidence such as physical features, names, jobs, family connections, and special memories. There's nothing that cannot be accessed. When connecting, use all your senses. I think I talked about the five senses. I don't know if it was this deck or the deck before. I talked about the, I think it was, yeah, that's crazy. So if you were going back and forth, not trying to freak you guys out, but if you were going back and forth between three and four, that's a confirmation, like that's the next level. Like that's the next level. You guys are headed towards enlightenment. And there was a lot of fours there, okay? And I talked about the, the fourth dimension, which is, you know, way beyond the five senses. It's a different sense that you're exercising, which is intuitive intuition. So evidence is going to be received. And it says that when you're connecting all of your senses, you will feel it, you will hear it, okay? And it's okay to be a little proactive and ask spirit some questions such as what's your relationship and what, what did you do for work? How many children? Okay, if you're asking about certain people or yourself, do you have any physical features or spirit? What do you want me to know about my spiritual connection? What am I not seeing? What's holding me back? How am I in the way? You can even ask for the spirit's first name. Never censor when you're receiving with your own interpretations. Don't be afraid to share what seems to be unusual. You may be surprised when someone confirms. So you might get information about someone and you feel like it's unusual, but you might say it just to say it. Spirit saying, I'm gonna give you information. Just say it, try it, have fun with it, exercise it. And for fun, see, if it actually happens. And if you say a name, like maybe you said, I've been seeing apples all day. And then you don't want to say it because you're like, oh, this is weird. But then you say it and someone's like, whoa, me too. Da, 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 da. And it's like, yes, this is a spiritual realm that people have access to and they can communicate. The collective okay, can communicate on that. Now, what question you really need to ask your higher self to activate these gifts is show me what I may not be seeing because I feel like your third eye is going to be open. That's what this reading was about. We're going to let it simmer, see where it gets you guys. I can't wait to see what you guys put down below. But yeah, what a crazy reading. Thank you for being here and bringing this out. So your healthy skepticism about your, your psychic and magical abilities has brought us here. And we were able to see even more magical moments that happen. So thank you for being with me. Again, if you guys are looking for the Activate Your Power, you can find that in the description. You can go to thetarotpriest.com. You can go to the tarotchest.com for secret pick a card readings if you need more information about whatever it is that you're looking to access. In the meantime, I'm gonna head out. It's been real, it's been amazing being with you guys. I'm always sending you guys love and light through the screen. So sending it my way and thank you for being with me. Can't wait to see you guys on the next pick a card reading. Love and light.